Coach, you had a Hall of Famer on the ice with you this morning. What is uh, Daniel Alfredson's presence going to mean to the team? Well, I think it's huge for the team of the organization to continue bringing these guys back um, that left it out there, their heart and soul, uh, how many games he's played, you know, lives here. I think it shows the players, um, you know, that that they're going to be a part of something when they are done, you know, and especially if they do something special, um, you know, the ownership, and, and they're going to be taken care of. And I think Elfie, not only is being, he's going to be taken care of, but I think he's going to add to our young core of players. He's been every situation that they're going to face. Um, and then also, you know, had played that many years, and he's been where, you know, Giroux's been and all these guys. So he's going to be able to help them, but not only that, help us communicate with them. Because I think the biggest thing today's hockey and, and the world is communication, and, and he's going to help narrow that gap uh, and, and help everybody. Is there a plan from a coaching perspective to have him on the ice as often as possible or around as Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm pretty open-door policy as it is. Um, you know what, I think 82 games, it's a long year. Uh, the more you can break it up, the more people you can get advice from. Um, but he's going to help us too. And, and you know what, he, you can't replace experience. And, you know, how many games he's played, how many games Steve's played. Um, these guys have been around the, the NHL for a long time. And um, we're all going to work together to come up with the absolute best answer. An injury update on your players maybe heading into this weekend. Uh, McEwen, be a game time decision. Uh, looked good today. Um, Norris, I'll just wait to see what the trainers say after. Looked really good again. I know they were banging into each other out there and, and checking each other, so uh, I'll wait on the trainers to let me know there. You joined, uh, sorry, you joined Paris and Cole with this uh, line of uh, Greg and Joseph. Yeah. We're trying to create an air. Uh, what do you hope? Um, I thought Drake made a couple really nice plays with Kubi there the other day. I think they, they think the game very similar, so I, I like that match there. Um, I really like the way uh, Joe and Ridley are skating. I think with a shooter like like Vladdy, um, you know, they could help there. So, um, you know, obviously with 11 players the other day, uh, 11 skaters, sorry, everyone kind of got to play with each other. So it wasn't a true test of playing a full 60 minutes with the same line. You know, easily I could switch back or, or switch to other things, but um, both lines look good today. Tell us how you planning on using them in that uh, power play. Oh, Chicker? Uh, Chicker, yeah. Yeah, he's going to stay in the same spot he's been since exhibition. He's in the one timer spot there. Um, he's been there right since, uh, you know, Toronto. He scored a couple goals. Um, you know, our power play, it's been one game, so um, against. You know, one of the top penalty killing teams in the league. We did have, you know, a couple of great A scoring chances, didn't score. That unit's going to score, but we need both units to score. If, if you're going to be successful in the NHL, you want to be a top 10 power play, both units got to score. There were some rumors that Shane Pinto was in town, that he might have left, that he might still be here. I'm just curious um, what you think about that. Have you been in talks with him at all just throughout this process? I have talked to Pince um, throughout the process a little bit. Just, uh, you know, he, he's, a, he's a young guy. Um, that really cares and you know he wants to be here so I mean me, me talking to him is not about uh, the contract or the money or any of that it, it's about how you doing uh, realize when you do get here the boys can't wait to have you back um, you know we love you as a, as a as a player and as a person our coaching staff just to kind of make them feel at ease but not when it comes to the other things that's not my job my job is to coach them and and, uh, and and I talk to them you know just like that and do you think it, it sent that he was back here even for a bit training? Well, I mean, I, I, I've heard obviously the same rumors, um, but I don't know that to be true. But in, in saying that, you know, if he's if he's a step closer to being here, certainly we'll be excited to, to have him when he's ready. What, uh, what kind of team do you need to be at home? I think we our identity at home is we got to play fast. I think in the first period against Carolina, we come out real fast. We move the puck fast. We we checked fast. I think as the game went on, um, we either you know we got a little sluggish. Um, we didn't stay with it long enough, maybe. Um, but if we can be a team that can come out fast like that and then stay on you for 60 minutes, move pucks quick, um, you know, check, roll the lines over. Uh, you want your power play to be good at home. Um, and, and, and obviously a, an element that we always have is physicality is, is you know, the pucks, you know, the point, if they have it, we got to get it back and, and we're going to bang into people and, and make it uh, a little bit of a muddy track. Now, you know, 
our opponent tomorrow plays very much that style. We want to have the puck a little more. Um, but I think when you look at our team, if we're playing our best, we're playing fast and we're attacking. You anticipate uh, you know, kind of splitting your goaltenders for these two? Yeah, for sure. Um, I think both goalies were real good during exhibition, and I just think that'll happen. I mean, there's so many games that are going to you know, pick up in a hurry that these guys will, you know, will share the load, and then eventually someone will take the reins. DJ, you had such a fantastic start at home last year. Do you recall like um, the energy around that, and how do you try to recreate that? I think it's the fans that bring it. I think just knowing that the I know that these players and myself, we want to win for the fans, and we want uh, to, to bring a winning product here every night. I know, obviously, the, the new ownership and, and, and all the people involved um, want – to create something special here and you know I think we play much better at home guys are more comfortable here at home but it's the fans it's it's the fans um, you know these guys are young guys you forget when it comes to their age you know as opposed to you know guys in their 40s and 50s they go out there and they got young kids with signs with their names on it I mean you know I mean it, it is whether you're in the NHL or not it's still it's something special to, to be at home and see all the people in your hometown pulling for you so uh, for me it's the excitement that the fans bring to us. And uh, thoughts on the, the home opener tomorrow? Will that energy really help you bounce back after a, a tough loss opening night? Yeah, I don't, I don't spend much time. I mean, hey, we want to win every game. Um, but that's as tough a building to go into as there is in the league under the circumstances. I thought um, that the underlying numbers, we were, we were solid. We just made big mistakes at wrong times. Um, but in saying that, um, we have a home stand here, and we just want to play our game, and I, and that'll take care of itself. Much like last year, you need to be one or two over 500 every month, and chip away. And I don't think that's any different. So um, we want to start well at home here, but we just want to look the same every night. And I think if you look the same every night, you have a chance to win. And it, you know, you could maybe win, you know, a couple of games where you don't play good, but eventually it's going to catch you. You just got to play good, look the same, just come back to work, do it again, do it again, and I think you could give yourself a chance. You know, once we heard the news, uh, you know, talk to us and you know, team meeting before. So I think uh, everybody's very fired up to have, of course, not just you know him as a you know, player, but what he's done for the city, community, and, and uh, just all the experiences that he's gone through to share that with us. And I think that's going to help us get to the next level. It's almost invaluable for this young team to have somebody like that. It's huge. Um, you know, for for me individually, I can add a, uh, another you know, awesome career to you know, my toolbox to learn, be able to learn from, and and be able to just uh, be a sponge you know, and ask questions to him. But, yeah, like you said, I think for the whole group it's going to be great just to have a guy like that, his career and, and what he's done for the city, be able to learn from that. And, and uh, like I said, I think it's going to make our group um, you know, that much better. Brady, you've had a relationship with him before. So what difference is it going to make having him on the ice? It sounds like a lot this season. Yeah, I mean, it's. I think it's... Uh, it's gonna be great. It's you know instead of you know once in a while being able to see him, just get to see him on a hopefully a, a daily basis, and, and just um, no, we were just talking about even the game the other night and, and what he saw and, and uh, um, you, know, you know kind of an outside opinion and, uh, that we have. And I think we're fortunate to have that, and, and uh, the whole group, and I think the whole city should be really excited about it. Eric said he um, last year told him to change the curve of his stick, like and he immediately did, and he started shooting better, scoring more. Has he given you any even like technical advice with your equipment or things like that? Uh, not yet. Um, no. To start, I don't really know what equipment I use. I don't really know the details of that. So uh, if you were to tell me, I'd probably be even more lost. So, um, yeah, I haven't gotten uh, a tip like that yet, but I guess we'll see. Brady, what kind of team do you guys need to be at home? Well, we need to... No, continue what we what we've been doing in the past is, is at home we're you know a dominant team that you know, we rely you know heavily on the uh, you know the fans um, energy and, and uh, they're a big part of it as well so when we have that and, and I know it's going to be a great atmosphere tonight but if we have that every game then we're going to be a tough team to beat. Is this home stand? You know you start with five game home stand here. Is this an, an opportunity to kind of set the tone for the year? Or is that yeah, of course. Um, I think everybody's putting emphasis, you know, outside uh, noise, you know, internally about our start. But I think if we just play our game, and that's all you can really focus on, is just getting to our game as quick as we can, and, and uh, just focusing really on the task at hand. And I think if you think about anything other than that, then just 
you know, distraction you know, takes away from our game. So as long as we focus day in, day out of, of what we want to accomplish, I think we'll be happy with uh, our effort and our success. Great commercial with you, your brother, and your mom. Um, have you ever seen your mom act before? What was that like? First time. Um, I know my dad and sister have been giving her a hard time, but uh, it was special. It was fun. We, you know, don't get to spend as much time, us three, um, you know, throughout the year. So uh, just to see how excited she was, and and uh, we didn't really realize how big of a process it was to, you know, film a 30 second commercial. So it was eye opening, but it was just such a fun experience, and uh, we had a great time. So Which which one was it? Like how long did it take? How many? You and your brother acting, or was that just natural? Uh, that was natural. Uh, that's probably a, a preview of how we were when we were younger, and, and uh, when we were trying to get my mom to ad lib to what she would say when we were younger. So it wasn't what she said in the commercial, but uh, um, yeah, they, they cut a couple of those parts out. But uh, yeah, it was great. It was you know a three hour you know thing, so it wasn't too bad. But um, yeah, me going to the back seat was a pro was an hour of it, so it was, I had a good sweat going. But uh, uh, but yeah, it was just. It was awesome that we were able to do that, and I uh, know how much fun my mom had to just spend time with the two boys. So Must you would raise back to when you're a kid, like those memories with the family. Yeah, yeah. There's definitely uh, some fun ones like that, battles, but also some pretty quiet ones leaving the rink uh, after some youth hockey games. So um, it got the you know the mix, uh, the mix of it, and, and uh, yeah, it was a neat idea that they came up with, and we were fortunate to be able to you know make it work and um and just see how fired up my mom was and, and how cool uh um she thought it was so it was uh, she's been telling everybody and, and uh, she said she got a ton of texts too so it was pretty cool yeah well i obviously can't understand theirs so it's uh, i don't know exactly what they said but uh it was good we uh, you know able to see joe in the, in the middle of the summer too uh, overlap for just a little bit while we were filming it it was uh pretty neat and, and uh yeah, I mean, of course, I'll use Joe or Shabby as a translator to see what they said, but uh, that was uh, definitely a lot of fun. Pretty much the same thing. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> but you would rate yourself as a natural then? Is that what you're saying? I mean, I want to hear everybody else's responses back to that, but yeah, I think I give you the next Leo. No, I've been uh, feeling good the last few days here. Uh, hope so, yeah. I mean, everything went well today. Uh, you know, a couple, couple more things to do here today, and... Uh, make sure you get the go-ahead. So I know this is out of your control, but how tough was it just missing that first game of the season? Um, yeah, I mean, you know, you always want to be with the boys on the on the start, uh, right from the get-go. Uh, I think it was just a little bad luck the last preseason game there, but um, you know, early in the season, it's better air on the safe side. I think uh, you know, I made the right call. It took the right time to, to heal things up, and uh, you know, I'm uh, feeling feeling ready to go for the for the next one. What did you notice from an observant standpoint of that first game? Yeah, I mean, I thought uh, you know, I thought our effort was really good. I thought uh, you know, we we did a lot of things right. I think obviously, you know, there's there's some stuff to figure out in uh, in our details, and I think that's uh, you know just easy to easy to fix. And um, you know, I think we're that's something we're working on now. Yeah, I like the most about a home opener. Often described as playoff atmosphere. Yeah, you know, there's nothing really better. You know, you got a, uh, you know, you got some fans coming in with the excitement of this team, and um, you know, I, I know it's, uh, it's going to be a packed house, and uh, you know, those games are so easy to get up for. There, you know, you, you really want to put on the best show you can for the fans, and um, you know, show show them what you came here to do. Zach, what are some of the emotions facing the former team? Uh, you know, uh, no friends out there, that's for sure. Uh, I think that's what everybody says, but. Um, no, it's uh, you know just another game. Uh, you approach it the same way. Uh, you know you're here to do a job. And the job's win the game. No friends, so no dinners with any of the. <laughs> no, I don't. No, I don't think so. Not tonight. <laughs> a little bit different, but amazing commercial with you. And <laughs> yeah, it was awesome. I don't know how that came to be. Um, you know what, Eric Epstein from the NHLP came up to me, um, you know, earlier this summer, and he said maybe you know Yande wants to do something with the brothers this year and. Um, you know, at first it was uh, they gave us a couple ideas, and you know, uh, they got to, I got to bring my mom there, and you know, spend a couple of days with my brother and my mom in Toronto, and um, I'm sure it was really precious for her, and uh, we had a great time, honestly, and you know, she got to stay at a nice hotel and stuff, and and um, yeah, it was good because you know we could, we didn't we never really got to do something like that with with the mom, so um, for her it was pretty cool, and uh, yeah, the commercial came out great, and you know, it was, uh, it was fun. 
has she ever done acting before? And how realistic was that? <laughs> no, she's never. And uh, you know what? She was uh, she was pretty happy to be there. You know, she was talking to everybody, and uh, you know, really enjoying the time. And I thought she was uh, phenomenal during that commercial. I'm glad she was uh, the main character in it. How realistic was that to you and your brother growing up? Going to the room? Yeah, I think it was very really relatable. And every um, you know Canadian. Canadian family growing up, having two kids fighting in the back. I, so many times growing up, uh, we would uh, we would be tired of each other, seeing each other every day, you know. So uh, trying to be something, trying to do something realistic. But uh, at the end of the day, it was all fun. Do you think it's pretty neat, you know, you and Brady got the opportunity to do not only with your brothers but with your mothers? Yeah, I think you had the same, you know, you had the same um, answer as me in in the sense that uh, you know his mom. Uh, having the two sun together at the same time for at least you know 24 to 48 hours is uh, is cool. I mean we're busy. We have busy summers. We have stuff to do. We want to be ready for the season. So you know getting to spend time with your family like that, uh, a little away from home is always fun. What's it like competing against? I mean you get the double penalty last year and then in preseason this year you ran him over a little bit. Yeah, it's good. Um, you know he doesn't talk to me on doing games and uh, you know I I've, I've got to know that by now. We've played a lot against each other in junior and. Um, but you know we're we're a big competitor, and I think uh, I've tried to push him growing up. He's tried to push me, and um, but when when it's time to to play for your team, you know obviously we uh, we're, we're trying to be dialed in for for uh, for a team. So uh, you know I love his compete level. Uh, it's always you're always trying a little harder with him, and um, but you know well, you know at the end of the day you, you always want him to do well, even even if uh, he's in the, is he, he's on a different team. Um, but it's always fun to you know see uh, your brother on the other side of the. Uh, of the ice. Speaking of compete level, how good did it feel to get that goal, you know, five on five in the first game? Yeah, I mean, any goal you can, you, you get, it's it's a good feeling. You're trying to help the team to win. Um, you know, I, I had my legs early during the game and um, got some touches early, got some hit early, you know, and, uh, you know, you get you get to feel the game a little bit more and um, obviously it feels good. Uh, you want to start the season the right way and um, you know obviously you, you, want, you want the result with the team at the end of the day but uh, on a personal level for sure. What kind of team do you have to be at home? Uh, what? What kind of team do you have to be at home? Um, I think we can't change our identity. We're a fast team. We're a physical team. We play with some emotion. Uh, we got to be a little more disciplined next game obviously. I think you know a couple penalties that Kind of killed the momentum last game, um, but definitely at home, I, I feel like the guys are going to be ready. We have a big back-to-back -to, -back to start, and um, you know, we, obviously, we have a great crowd here, great fans. So um, I'm sure it's going to help, uh, you know, build some momentum for the game. What was it like seeing Albertson at practice today? What he means to this group? Yeah, it means a lot. I mean, uh, you know, he's played so many seasons here. He's been the leader of this franchise for so long. Um, you know, he didn't get to to the Hall of Fame like that for, for no reason. He's a very smart guy, um, you know, little details of the game. I got to, you know, last year when I was injured, uh, I got to spend a lot of time with him at home when the guys were on the road. And, you know, so it's just little details that sometimes not even like us, not having this experience and playing over the years and so long like that, then it brings a different perspective. And, um, you know, obviously it's going to be a big help for a team. And uh, having, you know, having another head to, to talk about hockey is always good. So. Um, and having someone who's, who's, who's done so well for so long is definitely going to be a huge, uh, huge improve, improvement for us. What kind of details did he bring up when you were here last year? You know what? It's just, it's just little details of the game in, in sense of like puck protection, where to put your stick, um, you know, quickness with the puck, uh, where to place yourself in the ozone, little things like that. That you know, obviously, you want to stay in the system and you want to, um, you know, you want to work hard and and be. Um, you know, be predictable for your teammate, but at the same time, there's some little skill play that he does that he has this hockey smart and good IQ that, you know, some not, sometimes experience helps, and um, he, he's got that. And I think we have a good coaching staff and a good, uh, good, good personnel that helps about about that. But you know, having another perspective, like I said, is uh, is always good.